Good morning everyone and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm in Stardew Valley. Ah, oh, we've got plenty of produce to start the day with. My goodness. Well, let's uh, just begin that straight away. Uh, we've got some coconuts. Mm, we could. Could uh, maybe more than that. Mm, no. We're going to be going for melons, I think. Let's uh, pop that melon up there. Oh, my lord, my inventory is so full of random rubbish. There we go. Uh, I will drop off the, some of these coconuts, though. Uh, well, we've got seven ghosts out of coconut. No, we won't be dropping that one off. I'll drop that one off. Though. There we go. Okay, so let's start the day the right way by checking on the television. Ooh, there's a rerun of Cream of Sauce. We'll just double check if this is one of the fake ones. It is trout soup. There's something about fresh caught trout that just gets me buzzing. Maybe it's the subtle taste of the river. At any rate, I've got a wonderful trout soup recipe to share with you today. But I already know how to make it. Now, this is the super important part. Because from now on, a lot of what we do is going to be based very heavily on the luck of the day. Spirits are very displeased. Okay, we're not going to the Skull Cavern then. Uh, it's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Okay, well, that's very nice as well. Let's drop off some of these items. Uh, is there anything else I actually wanted to drop off in there? I don't think there was. Uh, we've got some beet seeds, we've got some rhubarb seeds. Okay, well, we're going to be planting those today. Beet seeds take six days in the fall. Rhubarb takes 13 days in the spring. That is a little bit... We're not going to be able to plant that outside, basically. Okay, well, all the girls... Everyone is outside. This is going to be a little bit awkward for us. I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. You've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it to at least level 25 deep. I've got a mountain of gold to spend if you can do it. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I, I, like, I like that, actually, quite a lot. Uh, right, well, let me just empty my inventory before I check any more of the mail. Let's drop this off, that off. The iron ore, quartz... Uh, is there anything else? Copper or geodes need to be dropped off. We're not going to be uh, uh, opening geodes from now on unless there happens to be a uh, it happens to be a lucky day because it, that also affected. Uh, we'll get the copper going. There we go. Drop off our sap. Uh, was there anything really here that I wanted to drop off? Um, not particularly, I must confess. I must confess, not particularly. Though, I do need to drop off this and there. There we go. Also these. And we're about done. Oh, my lord. That took me a little while to get everything sorted, I must, I must say. Right, okay. Let's check on our mail, then. We've got... Alak, I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in, your friend Gus. Oh, thank you very much. Baked fish. Nom, nom, nom. I approve. And let's grab up all of, ooh, there we are, all of the sap. And of course, get rid of the uh, seeds and acorns and all of that goodness. Drop off the copper, drop off the sap and the acorns, and there we go. All right then, now comes the important task of saying hello to every chicken and duck that we have without missing any. This is going to be hard. But we will do our best. Hello, 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 hello. Have we said hello to everyone? I sincerely hope that we have. I cannot say we have with any particular confidence. However, that makes me very sad. Also, Leafin, Leafin, I need to say hello to Leafin. Hello, Leafin. Uh, I do not have my watering can. I, I, am, a, I am very sorry, Leafin. I will be right back. Uh, we will use this time, however, to pop the glasses in there. I'm not actually rushing today because of the super poor luck. It's like, well, if the day is especially unlucky, I'm just going to take my time with everything. I'm not going to stress out about anything in particular. So today is a very lazy day for us. We're going to get a lot of things done. Probably go and uh, chat with a couple of people as well. There you go, Leafin. Now, let's go and get us some mayonnaise. Also, some eggs. There we are. And wonderful. I really do need to upgrade all of my barns to this level simply so that I don't have to worry about all of the uh, all of the, the hay. Uh, drop off the large egg. In fact, we're probably going to be putting all of the eggs down today. Mayo. Did we have any duck eggs in here? No, we did not. That's fine. I think it's actually getting to the point where we need an extra mayo machine. 
Uh, we need an extra earth crystal for that one, though, which isn't uh, easy for us to get, to be fair. Okay, well, that's all done. We'll go and drop off the mayo. Agro, would you help me out with this? There's also some potatoes are there and there that I need to grab. Thank you. And let's get rid of all of the mayonnaise. Grab all of the uh, produce there. Well, not really produce, the goods, I suppose we would call that. And we will grab the potatoes. There we go. Okay, lovely. Now, it's going to be Pam's birthday, I think, tomorrow. I could be wrong about that, but I'm fairly certain it is her birthday tomorrow. Uh, I would actually like the potatoes to be converted into more seeds. And there's so much stuff here. <gasps> We're going to make so much money today. Uh, I should totally eat this so that there's a better chance of them being high quality. I think that's how that works. I could be completely wrong, as often I seem to be. No, don't eat a star fruit. That would be especially silly. Oh, there's nothing there. Never mind that. Let's grab all of you. There we go. Now, I would very much like to uh, plant the rhubarb down here. Now, I can't remember if rhubarb... Uh, you can re-harvest rhubarb. I mean, you can in real life. But... Uh, planting leaves in spring takes 13 days to mature. Okay, well, the beets and the rhubarb seem more or less the same then. Fair enough. Well, let's go with the beets then. There we go. Had a rhubarb patch uh, in the garden of my old place. Wonderful. Absolutely loved it. Uh, there we are. That was actually a fairly good haul. The star fruit will probably turn into wine, I'm going to I'm going to assume. Uh, we could well no, we don't need any more cranberries than what we've got. I think we're good. I think we are completely good there. Alright, aggro, if you would be so kind. Take me over here, and we'll just drop off some of these. All of the star fruit automatically gets stored. Uh, some of the cranberries, I guess we could. Um, half of the cranberries. Because we're just... We're going through our fruit so slowly, I don't think there's much point in storing that many of them. There we go. Oh, all the peppers, or at least the... Uh, Low quality ones get stored as well. Already 10 a.m. My goodness, time flies. Uh, drop those off. Sell all of those. There we are. All right. Well, this will be the Mr. Key challenge there. Uh, place 10 beats inside the maze. Oh. All right. I need to get those beats done then. I really should make that a much higher priority than I've been making it. There we go. Down hither, we should see a few things here and there. Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to have to go and get the watering... Uh, sorry, watering can? No, I'm not going to be watering you. I'm going to have to go and get the uh, milk pail from in here. And also the goat's cheese. Uh, sorry, goat's milk. There we are. And drop that off. Right then, my lovelies. We've already said hello. So, no, no. Oh, Fiery has no milk. Oh, are they all? Of course, yes, because we got milk yesterday, didn't we? Yes, this arcade, sorry about that. Let me just drop this milk pail back off then. And right about there. We'll just leave the goat's milk in there for now. Grab the green beans while I'm here. And then we're more or less set with the farm then. All right, hello, my lovelies. No, you're not allowed out just yet. I want to say hello to all of you. There we go. Got to make sure every single one of you has had a, uh, a bit of time, a bit of a pet. Wish I had a brush to, well, it's not so much comb your fur, but just give you a, a nice long brush. There we are. Cows are especially fond of that, from what I recall. Used to live near a farm. My grandfather used to be a milkman and uh, spent quite a lot of time with the cows, actually. Alright, did I... Was there any milk in here? No. Alright, you then. Let's get everyone milked. There we go. Beautiful. Iridium quality milk. Fantastic. That is the true sign that you are a happy, happy cat. Also, you seem to make happy faces. Fairly frequently. That is another good sign of it. There we are. Thank you, my dears. Let me drop that back off. 
And then we're pretty much good for the day. We've got a lot of things we can do with the rest of our day then. Oh, actually, all oh, of that's going with. Oh, okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right, aggro, uh, let us be off. Also, I want to grab these salmon berries while I'm here. This is going to be a very profitable day. Very profitable day. I think what we'll do is we'll use this opportunity to go and get some friendship with people. Just pop around, de uh, deliver some gifts and the likes, and generally uh, try and increase our social standing, since that isn't really based on luck. As far as I'm aware, it's not based on luck. And all of the green beans can go as well. Uh, the salmon berry, you know what, yeah, the salmon berries can go too. Uh, the gold star cheese can go, and in fact that goes to cheese, because we've got plenty. We have got plenty of cheese. That cheese can go as well. Uh, we do need to drop off the uh, hops here. Right, there we go. And now to grab some gifts. First, we'll pop that in there. Now, I've got something for Jazz. I've got something for Vincent. I've got something for Haley, Maru, um, and... Her father, we've got something with Krobus. We've got two things for Haley, actually. Uh, Alright, well, given that, let me actually have a quick look. Who do we want to give gifts to? Uh, Robin needs a gift. We could give her a gift right now, actually. Uh, Leah needs a gift. Elliot. Oh, well, actually, Elliot is... Oh, and, and Leah, they're, they're full up. So, Robin will get a gift for you. Evelyn needs a gift, so leak or cookies maybe, or chocolate cake, I think. Um, Clint, Jazz definitely needs some. Willie needs some. We need to get something for Rasmodia, so let's continue to feed his dark arts. Uh, let's go and give a daffodil to Robin. Robin, can I give you this daffodil? There we go. Thank you. This might come in handy. Uh, yes. If you want to impress a Welshman, just offer him a daffodil. You never know when you might meet one. Uh, I'll just organize my inventory a little bit better. That, for me, is Lewis. A minus tree is for me. Uh, pretty much everything else is... Yeah, we're, we've actually got a reasonable, reasonably empty inventory at the moment. Well, for me, it's a reasonably empty in inventory. Uh, for Clint, though, we need to give Clint a bar or something. You know what? I'll give him a bar of gold. I think that's a fairly good thing to give Clint. Uh, have we given Emily all the presents we can? Yes, we have, unfortunately. I need something for the Marvelous Man. Let's see. I've got a ruby. Yes, I've got a ruby. I'll give Elliot a ruby. And is there anything else that we really want to do? Oh, we've got Clint covered. Uh, Willie... Willie, you're a bit of a tricky one, honestly. You are genuinely a tricky one. I need to go and cook two chocolate cakes. Let us hope that I've got enough for cooking two chocolate cakes. I do, in fact, have enough for two chocolate cakes. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. Fantastic, I tell you. And uh, that's about it, actually. Okay. Well, it's Wednesday, so today we're going to go and say hello to Jazz down in Cinder Snap Forest. Then we are going to go on to meet the merchant and say hello to the merchant there as well. Oh, sorry about that aggro. Let's go. Damn it. Why can't I close the gate without hopping off? Usually I can. <gasps> I just saw it. Yes. Ha! Spied it just in the last moment. Please still be there in a few seconds time. Gotcha. Please be Iridium. You know, not that I'm greedy or anything, but that's what I wanted. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Still, it was something for free, so that's fine. How scallywags. There we go. Let's go. All fingers and thumbs today. All fingers and thumbs, and I'm not really sure why. There we are. Uh, some more salmon berries. Ah, nature's harvest everywhere. And I cannot say that phrase without thinking of a particularly... I'm not even going to really talk about it that much. I'm just going to say there's a book called Nature's Harvest. And it is not nearly as wholesome as one might think. Oh, Drat Diamond Blast. Uh, new merchant. I forgot. That's a Friday thing. Um, what do I have any driftwood? Do you like a salmon berry? This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Leah. Quite, quite welcome. Right, moving on. Let us see about getting some hardwood while we're out here. And also some more salmon berries. 
Because you're never going to have... It's, it's never going to be a bad thing to collect all of these things. Though I'm going to leave... You know what? I'm going to leave some of the, the berry bushes. I don't want to take all of the birds' food. Nature has got... Uh, you know, nature provides for everyone. It's not any one person's bounty. It's everyone's bounty. So you should, you should only take what you particularly need. Now, I, in reality, I don't need any of them. So, you know, I think I've taken enough at this point. And yes, I know that no one else is going to actually take any. I know that I'm just doing this for no particular reason, just just for basically role play fluff. But damn it, it makes me feel happier to do it, and that's the only reason I need. Oh, I will take this one, I suppose. and I'm taking that one purely so that that one stands out. However, the mushroom I will take because I would very much like to store up on that particular mushroom as well. Because even when you've got the mushroom cave, that one's hard to come by. And that will be very useful for cheering up George. There we go. I haven't actually made him any fried mushrooms yet. Right, there we go. Let's be off. I do like games that actually have that a consequence for over-harvesting, though. Um, I forget the name of the game. It was a little DS game, but you could, you could harvest berries and, and fruits and things like that in this little forest. But if you did that, gradually the birds stopped singing. <laughs> And it really kind of hit us. Yeah, well, they're not there anymore. They've all gone somewhere else. They didn't just die. They just went where the food was, and the food was no longer here. So, you know, your forest is now empty. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you. And thank you for giving me the dark ones, because I'm in a particularly foul mood today. I spoke with my ex-wife, you know, so I just, I just, I just want to work on poisons and, and summoning demons and, you know, things that remind me of her. It takes years of study to undertake the, understand the language of the elementals. To actually speak the language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to it. Very well. Let us uh, go. Uh, so many berries around here. I'm going to grab this one. At this point, I'm doing it purely for artistic reasons. Uh, I, I just like having only splashes of color. It makes those the, the, the colors stand out a little bit more vividly. Um... You can stay. I would like to harvest this tree, though. Then, well, actually, I should probably probably have been harvesting the ones down the yeah, bottom as well. Have you? There we go. And onwards. Any good fishing spots? None that I'm seeing as yet. Let's uh, pop inside. Oh, it's locked. Wow, it's really that late. Well, my goodness. That happened faster than I was expecting. That happened a lot faster than I was expecting. One minute is before 12, the next minute, yep, it's all gone. Hi, Penny. Let's have a chat, shall we? I've lived in Pelican Town my whole life. Can you believe that? I can indeed. You told me that before, and I have no reason to distrust you. Hey, uh. I pop in here? I can indeed. I'm trying to come up with a new song for my band, but I'm blanking. Hey, what do you think the new song should be about? Uh, farming, mining, or chopping wood. A city in the sea. Trains. Choose anything. It'll still be a horrible song. What a horrible thing to say. I'm going to say a city in the sea. Hey, you know what? That sounds perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. Here, have an extremely good quality pepper. Ah! Or not. Or not. I guess not, in this case. Uh, your brother, though, I am man, and he's not going to say no to a grape. Well, oh, thank you so much. This is terrific. You are welcome. Your mother is unlikely to say no to a chocolate cake. <gasps> You're such a sweetheart. I really love this. You are welcome. Um, your father. Uh, would, would your father like an extremely high quality pepper? Hey, now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. Aha! Take that. Refusing my gifts. Everyone gets a gift but you. I actually feel a little bit bad about that, but oh well. Uh, hi, Haley. I brought you a sunflower. Oh my god, this is my favourite thing! There are only two things I like about this town. One of them is the beach. The other one is a secret. <laughs> oh. You do realise I'm taking your sister, right? That's that's awkward. Maybe I'll I'll not give you any, any flowers for a little while. Um right. Help wanted. Needs smallmouth bass for experiment. <laughs> for experiment, no. <laughs> No. I really don't know the nature of the experiment that you would you would be doing, and I'm I can't in good conscience give you any any creature, living or dead, that you're gonna experiment on. 
You just don't know where that's going to go. Um, you know what? Here you go, Pam. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You're welcome. Hey, kid. You're too young to be walking around in a place like this. Oh, okay. After I've given you a gift, all right. Um, would you like a sweet pea? Thank you. You're welcome. Right, Clint. A special gift for you. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. You're welcome. Oh, hi, Alex. Sorry if I look a little messy. I've been working at the furnace all morning. So, do you need anything or do you just want to visit? Uh, well, I, uh, wow. That is, that is cold, man. I guess I've grown attached to Marnie and Jazz. We're a ragtag bunch, but it's the kind that feels like a weird family. I never really had much of a family as a kid. Oh, I'm sorry, Shane. But I'm glad you, Marnie and Jazz, get on so well. Um, oh, well, of course, we're going to go and say hello to Emily. Hi, Alec. Is that it? I always knew we'd become close like this. Wow. Apparently, Emily Emily pegged it right from the beginning. Everyone else who's been, you know, supporting different different teams, uh, sh you were fools, apparently. Emily knew. Fair enough, I guess. Hello, there, Abak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Well, thank you very much, Gus. Do I have anything to give to Gus? You know what, Gus? You may have something I cooked. I've already given you to the... You can't. I'm just going to hold it in front of you and wave it around, teasing-like, and I'm going to leave. Because this game likes to make me a scallywag. Scallywag game. Right. Well, down here, we're going to go and say hello to Krobus. After grabbing some salmon berries, of course. Hello, Krobus. I have many, many gifts for you. Many, many honourable gifts. Here we are. Oh, that makes... It doesn't matter. <sighs> Let's see what you've got, then. Uh, nothing that I really super want to buy at the moment, I'll be honest with you. And I'm absolutely not interested in fishing in the sewers. I did it once, because I knew there was a special fish there. Never again, Krobus. I don't tell, care how much you tell me the fish is in. Um, well, let's head down here and grab... We'll empty the crab pots. There we go. And, of course, pop some more bait in them. We could fish, but no, no not at the moment. I'm, I'm going to go around and do the things I don't usually do. And whereas in the first season, I spent a lot of time in the beach, I have not spent much time at the beach at all in this season. I'm not really sure what changed. I'm not really sure what changed. I mean, I, I guess I am trying to play the game in a different way, but... I'm not making any conscious effort to avoid the beach, but I'm spending far less time down here than I did in the in the first season. Hmm, curious. Right, well, moving on then, I guess we could just head home and, and have an early night, I suppose. I mean, it is getting on now. Yeah, I think that's probably the wisest option, really. We don't want to stay up just for the sake of staying up. We've got a lot of money you can make. You've got an awful lot of money to make. Is that a leak? That's by the yes, it is. Fantastic. Evelyn's favoritest gift. Uh, anything over here that I want to grab? No, not really. I will, however, chop this tree down now that it's back. There we go. And there we are. I think I've mentioned it uh, before. In fact, I think I've mentioned it a few times. That... I do dislike the way that towards the end of the game, well, from about the midpoint onwards, and even a little bit before that, depending on how uh, how focused you are on increasing your overall stamina, you get to a point in the game where stamina just really doesn't matter to you. You don't really need to eat food to, to keep it up. You can generally just ignore it for a very large part because you get to a point where you have so much stamina... You're never going to run out. And I'm not a big fan of taking making things trivial. Um, I like when there's a little bit... Uh, when, when the management stays. I mean, it's a fairly big part of this game, really, when you think about it. The uh, management aspect. So taking that part of the management out completely, it's a bit of a shame, really. 
one of the things that often brings this to my mind is the idea that after a certain point, I just do not go to the bathhouse. There's absolutely no reason to. I have no need to go to the bathhouse. I'm never that low on energy. That was a really, really silly use of sandberries, because that's going to take a long time to produce juice. I should have put something else in it, but oh well. That was that was that was my dope. However, we have got plenty of pale ale, which is particularly good. It is 1:10 a.m. and it's high time for me to curl up in bed and have a snooze. No star leaf in. And 11,852. Very, very nice indeed. Duck mayonnaise did a pretty good part of that as well, actually. And the cheeses, to be perfectly fair. I really wasn't thinking that I would make much money off being a rancher, but it is definitely helping. I mean, of course, you know, we can't discount the amount that I'm getting from the greenhouse. But generally speaking, like the money we made today didn't actually come from the crops that I'm pl I've got on the ground. Well, actually, the green beans, I guess. But... Um, the crops that I'm planting outside are not making up a large part of the money that we're making at the moment. A large part of that just comes purely from the greenhouse or the animals, which actually means that certain types of farmlands um, that have much less planting room outside, they wouldn't be too much of a problem. Certainly you'd be struggling for money early on and you might not have advanced as far as I have at this point, but you wouldn't be far off. cock a doodle do indeed. Why, good morning, everyone and world. Let's see what's on the television. Living off the land. Let's talk honey. No, not you, silly. Oh, that's very sweet of you to say. I'm talking about the sweet product made by our friends, the bees. Here's the thing. If you've got some flowers blooming near your bee house, your bees can produce flavoured honey. Otherwise, you'll get wild honey. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. It's actually very sweet. Uh, let's see. It's supposed to be in good humor today. Ooh, possibly a good time for us to head out then to the Skull Cavern. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Very well. Very, very well. Okay, well, if that is the case, we might be going to head out and... Wow, you just like displacing each other. We're going to head to the Skull Cavern today, I think. We should also take these down to Clint. And since I'm definitely going to be going to... Oh, well, actually, I'm going to be seeing Pam on the way. So maybe... Maybe I should just not worry about the geodes today. Kind of want to, but at the same time, might not be the best idea. Let's make sure that I've had everyone. Yep, we have. Okay, right. Well, we've got loads of produce as well. So let's grab a little bit of everything while we're here. I should really have eaten this first, so that I'm faster and I've got a higher... Uh, I've got a bit of a better farming skill. There we are, as I do think it makes sense. Arumba, please move. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Just grab a little bit of all of these. No, nope, that is not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do at all. Sorry. Put that down there. And get those two going. I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're mostly going to head straight out and get to the Skull Cavern today. I'll need to go and I'll need to buy a little bit. Now, I can't buy bombs. Ah, oh, of course, I can't buy bombs because of the dwarf. I can't talk to the dwarf yet. Unless, I, can, I don't think I can, though. It's possible that I might be able to, to do that without being able to talk to him, that I can just purchase stuff of him, but I don't think so. It's a bit of a problem bit of a problem. Let me uh, pop inside. Let's get a, a few more potato seeds, I think. Actually, we could get some parsnip seeds. Um, sure, we'll pop down three parsnips there. We'll also get two potatoes over here. And then we will grab the potato seeds out of there. Oh my lord, so many good things everywhere. How many potato seeds we got? We've got five. Okay. I can just plant those in here then in that case. Ooh! Ancient seeds! So good! So fantastically good! My inventory is full. So fantastically am I. Alright, well, let's just drop all of these things off for now so I can just sort out my inventory. There we are. And I want to pop these potatoes back in. There we go. Because we got rid of one. 
So we do not have all the potatoes at the moment. And grab some blueberries. Oh, that, that ancient seed though. So good. So very good. Um, afraid you're probably going to have to go. Uh, well, I'm going to let these ones grow. I, I guess I'll wait on the ancient seeds. I'll plant the ancient seed as soon as uh, these gem berries are gone. Uh, right. Well, given that then, let's grab everything I want to take with. Oh. Right, we'll go and plant first. Uh, I might not get to the... To... Uh, Skull Cave today. It's quite possible that I will not. Let's plant all of these if we can. There we go. And perfect, actually. Wonderful. Right, Agro, would you help me out here? I I mean, we could instead use our money to get rabbit. Uh, honestly, yeah, that, that's, that is by far, by far the better idea to get the rabbits. Uh, we're going to sell those and we'll sell a goodly amount of those. The parsnips, however, um, they're coming with. That potato can go in there. Um, we've got a lot of things on us that we don't need right now. But it's fine. It's probably going to just be another day where we spend some time just getting um, the farm in order. Although it is a good humor day, I think I'll, I'll use that for other things today. Uh, for example, we'll go and get the geodes uh, looked into by Clint. There we go. Right, now with all of that done, let's go ahead and pick all of these up. I'm going to leave three parsnips in here so I can produce some more parsnip seeds. In fact, actually, no, we've got parsnip plants there. That's fine. So these parsnips can actually be delivered to the house. There we are. Okay, let's go and check this out. And get a little bit of all of the eggs. A little bit of all of the eggs. No, we'll get all of the eggs. And can I pick that one up? No, I cannot. Very well. So that one's a high quality duck egg then. Oh, that's that's awkward. Very well. Drop those off, and then we can pick up all the mail, get the duck eggs out of my inventory. There we are. And now the big brown egg, and the small brown egg. We can pick this duck egg up and pop it over here. Now, the thing with this is that we've, oh, we've really not got enough room in our inventory for the amount of eggs that we're going to be going through, but... Uh, it's not terribly bad, and I think what we'll do is we'll kick this one off by loading up the feed trough. Oh, annoying. There we go. Oh, come on. There we are. The reason we didn't have that is because he was looking for how many animals I had in that, that area and giving me enough to feed those specifically. But, of course, we haven't got any animals there yet. Right, there we go. Now, we'll go and empty out this inventory. We are then going to go and get rabbits. It's going to be extremely expensive, so it makes sense that, that we'll do that today. Uh, we'll get rid of these... Uh, is there anything else I re... No, we'll get rid of that as well, I think. Everything else we're good with, I think, for now. Uh, we do need to go and say hello to the cows, though, first. Ah, oh, today is running away from me. Running away from me, it is. Let me just pop inside, drop off a couple of these, because I want parsnips in here, uh, the strawberries as well, and, of course, the snails and the catfish. Uh, we'll also drop this off as well. There we go. Right then, let's quickly go and deal with the geodes, since that is a time-critical task. We'll get that done first, but don't think I've forgotten you. Here you go. Oh, it's my birthday today. I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. You're welcome. Penny says I spent too much time at the saloon. Well, I mean, at least you got your job back now, so, you know, maybe you don't have to. All right, there we are. Hello, Clint. I have work to do. Please process these Omni Geodes. Please give me something amazing. That ghost crystal, I've not seen that one before. I don't think. I've definitely seen Fire Quartz. I've definitely seen Nicotite. <laughs> definitely seen Clay. And... Uh, Dolomite, I think we have seen. Well, let me just check. No. We haven't seen Ghost Crystal. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Let's go and uh, quickly hand those in to Gunther. 
Hey, Gunther, long time no see, mate. That's well, been a while. To be honest, I have missed you. There we go. That's all for today. Take care. Right, while I was in uh, Clint's store, I should really have sold him these. There we go. Perfect. Thanks. Right, we're going to be heading straight back to the bus stop so that we can... Where's, where's ag where, where is aggro? Uh, did, I not, did I not bring aggro out here? In which case, why did I come back this way? No, I didn't. I am kind of dumb, actually. Oh, okay. Well, let's go get those bunnies. I think it's high time that we got the bunnies. The goats are... Um, well, actually, you know what? Let me just do this quickly. Hello, 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 hello. Because otherwise I'll forget. I will milk you when I come back. Don't worry. Just need to go and get some rabbits. With my 30,000 gold. That's frankly too much gold. Hello. How are you? Well, actually, Print Hound are now. You've been here a while now. How's your farm doing? Really well, thanks. Taking care of the animals is easy as long as you don't forget about them. I would not. I never forget about any animal ever. Never. No. No. Anyone who says I do lies. Lies and slander. We're going to be able to afford three rabbits. Just shy of being able to afford a fourth. But that's fine. We'll place a rabbit here. And it shall not be Sutso. It shall be Vanilla. There we go. Great. I'll send a little Vanilla to her new home right away. And next. We shall be having Dewdrop. Good, I'll send a little dewdrop to his new home right away. <laughs> uh, also, I've watered your desk. You know, don't need to thank me. Finally, we'll be getting... And if I can get an extra two grand, I will be coming back. We'll be getting... Greedy Reader. No, we shall not. Shall be Bell. Great, I'll send a little Bell to her new home right away. Thank you very much, Marnie. If I'd realised, I would have taken a lot of my produce and sold it direct to Pierre, but uh, we might be able to get a little bit if we're super fast. And, like, we could take the goat's cheese. No, I really doubt it. We're, we're not going to be able to make that money. I've, I've put away too many, of the, too much of the produce already. Ah, well. Though that being said, it might be possible with green beans. Hmm. It's an outside possibility. But the question is whether I'm going to be able to do it fast enough. Uh, we'll see. We will see. I'm not going to waste the, the goat's milk, though, because that is far more valuable as goat's cheese than it is as goat's milk. So that's not happening. We'll just grab all of these. Maybe we'll be lucky. It is possible, especially if we get some iridium... Goat's milk. Uh, sorry, iridium cow's milk. Gonna have to be fast, but we'll see. We'll just grab all of these. And we'll need to get in. But it, it's a higher priority to make sure that all of the cows are happy. So, you know, I'm not going to rush in before I've made sure that I've said hello to each one individually before milking them. Far too high a priority for me. Hello. Dandelion is very happy. I'm very pleased. Right there. Also grab all these cheeses. Right. Iridium milks, please. Oh, you know. If the air ever gave me iridium milk, I wouldn't say no to it. I might think the Rasmodius was up to some sort of shenanigans, that some sort of crazy experiment had gone wrong, and he had somehow converted a cow into the sky, which, aside from the obvious ethical issues, I'd actually genuinely just be impressed with. I'm going to be honest. I, fair enough. You know, you, you turned a, a cow into the sky. I don't think this is particularly useful, but I am impressed. There we are. Let's get all of these milks on the go. 
Okay, we did not get enough iridium milk, I don't think. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Tally ho! We must get over there as fast as is argoyanly possible. That was such a stretch, my lord. Right. We'll also bring this along and sell that too. But we're going to have to be pretty nippy at this point to get there in time. The alternative, of course, is to upgrade stuff. But I would prefer to get an extra bunny if I can. Hello, Pierre. Sorry, no time for pleasantries. Must sell all of the things forever. Uh, that can go as well. There we go. We've got enough. Hurrah! I am very, very pleased. Very pleased. Ah, oh, I don't have... Hmm. That's a shame. I do not have particularly anything of extreme value for you, but uh, I'll give you a gold star strawberry, maybe. Oh, I've already given you two things. Ah, phew. Saved by being generous. This is me? Marvellous! You're more than welcome, Elliot. I can't talk to you now, though, apparently. That's, that does make me a little bit sad. Uh, Caroline... I've already given two gifts to Caroline as well. Okay. Well, apparently I've been way too generous today. Uh, I need to go... I'm gonna go to Marnie's f uh, almost first. Here you go, Evelyn. How nice. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. I thought that... Oh, no, it's George who loves leaks. Evelyn asks for the leak for George. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. Evelyn, I think, is pretty fond of chocolate cake. But... Marnie. Oh, no! This penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. But where, where is Marnie? I love presents. Thank you. Marnie. Marnie, why? Ah, oh, Marnie. You scallywag, you. Ugh. Oh, well. May as well go back to town, then, and give people some presents. We can always get our final bunny tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Hello, Vincent. You're not as boring as most grown-ups. Um, thanks? I mean, it is still technically a compliment. It's just an awkward one. An awkward, weird kind of... Uh, not really... It's an offhand. It's a backhanded compliment, let's say. But Vincent isn't to know that. Vincent's just speaking his mind. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Vincent. Hello? Oh. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, well. Well, we've got a couple more things that we can sell. That's fine. Uh, might be... Honestly, I think we'll head down to Cindersnap Forest and then to the Lost Woods after that in order to do a little bit of gathering of wood and other such things that we're going to need for expansions because we are going to want to expand even more than we already have. Um, how much wood have we got? Got enough stone. We're pretty low on wood, though. I, we really need to improve on that. So, all right. I'm just going to drop off the green beans. Then aggro. Take us over to the bunnies. Need to say hello to them. This is why I didn't let them out on the first night. I wanted to, to say hi. There you go. There you go. Scritching between your ears. I don't think they really want to be out, but I guess I'll let you out for now. And if you want to come out, you can come out. And if you don't, you don't. You can go back inside. That's fine by me. Actually, what we can do is we can pop in here and see about cycling some of the goat's milk. There we go. And with that, it's off to gather some more wood, because that's the, the main thing that we're low on. I mean, we are going to need a lot of stone for what we're going to be doing in the, the Skull Cavern, but it's not a huge issue. Because um, we can just buy that. It gets expensive, don't get me wrong, but... Honestly, we're, we're starting to generate enough money now that it won't matter. We'll end up getting so much back from going to the low levels of the Skull Cave, just from the, the, the gems that we find in the geodes, that the expense on stone is not going to matter. And in fact, if we get a particularly good run with Iridium, you can end up selling the Iridium. Where on earth? Ah. Leah, Leah doesn't want to talk. She is making a beeline, just leaving before I could go and uh, offer her any more salmon berries. She, she took the last ones. It was more just out of politeness. She doesn't actually like salmon berries. No. Don't you even dare. 
my lord. Sorry about that, Agro. But we shall gather some more hardwood because we're going to need a lot to upgrade our house. And that's one of the next big upgrades that I would like to go for. I want to get uh, an upgrade on the barns. I would like to upgrade the new coop that we've got. It's not a huge... It's not hugely important. And in fact, wow, the, the rabbits are so expensive. So expensive. So we're not going to have a lot of those for a long time. But eventually, you know, I'm, I am looking to have about six rabbits in there. Maybe, maybe eight rabbits. Because at the end of the day, the rabbits... A rabbit foot is pure luck. So the more rabbits you have the bigger your chances are of getting a rabbit foot in any, any arbitrary time period. So, hopefully, that will ensure that we can complete the the uh, community center on time and within budget. Not that there really is a budget. And if there was, I frankly just don't care. I am I'm completely okay with just throwing money at the problem until it is fixed. Because I have no other use for money. The acquisition of money, or the accumulation of money, in and of itself, does not bring any kind of happiness. If I can use money to make other people happy, then that is, honestly, probably one of the better uses, in my opinion. Uh, let's chop this down. There we go. Trunk. Fantastic. Now, we're going to leave the trees down here, though. Those, those are for all of the squirrels and the birds and, and, uh, well, it's mostly the squirrels and birds. My mind was going towards the insects, but, uh, I have been told that the mere mention of certain many-legged insects does, just thinking about them, just by bringing it up, does, uh, get to some people. I, I may have already brought them up too much. Even mentioning the many-legged aspect. I can't... I find it very difficult to understand. I can accept it, but I find it so hard to really get how genuinely that... You know, it's, it's a phobia. It, it, if, if you don't suffer from any phobias yourself, it's very hard sometimes to understand really how deep those those go. Um, so while I while I can definitely appreciate it, it is really hard for me to imagine sometimes. <laughs> I like some of the insects that, that are most commonly the, the subject of phobias as well. Like, I really like them. It's like, damn it! Why is the world so, so poised against you? This is an injustice. There we go. Let's drop all of that off. And there we are. Ooh, some blackberry jelly. Um, you know what? I'm going to make some crystal fruit jelly next. There we go. And we'll actually go and drop that off into the uh, produce bin as well. There we are. I am so sorry, Leafin, that I did not water your, your bowl today. So, to make up for it, I will water you instead. Ah, oh, I'm such, such a good dog owner. So good. I totally understand how this whole thing works. <laughs> right. Let's go to sleep. No star, Leafin. Pretty good return there, 11,000. Just following a day where we had straight stupid amounts. 17, so uh, Silver Star Strawberries got us 2,550, and 15 Gold Stars got us 2,700. So yes, the, the, the growing area outside definitely brings a lot of bang for buck. But look at that, five Gold Star Mayonnaises, 17, uh, sorry, uh, 1,700, 1,700. Um, the green beans, 550, but the blue jazz honey, that was a pretty nice amount. And one goat's cheese, 450. Very, very, very nice. And considering how much goat's milk I've just got sat there. Wow. Uh, did we have anything else? Yeah, we had some salmon berries. Six salmon berries brought us in 30. So, in total, 11,628. Not a bad two days' work, I must say. And with that... Tis the 19th of spring. Tis a Friday, which means a shop day. So, in the next episode, we'll be checking out the shops, and depending on our fortune, we may even head down into the depths of the Skull Cavern, because, you know, we'll still be left with about 12k, even if we go today after buying one bunny. So, that's not bad at all. So, I think we are on... on 
track to doing quite well, um, we're probably going to be able to get the community center built in time. But that is going to be it from me. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. Remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. <laughs>